You may wish to add some light weights um, for a little bit more exercise, and you may also wish to have a stretchy band, although you could use tights or pantyhose or anything like that. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I am outside, so if you can't hear me for any reason, can you just give me like a little comment and uh, I can adjust the volume or we can move inside. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take you through your Pilates workout today. There's three things that are really essential for Pilates, and you can never do them too often. It's the posture, the pelvic floor, and the lateral breathing. The least important is the lateral breathing that comes over time. It's sort of directly opposite to a yoga diaphragm type breathing. So it can take a little while. As long as you don't hold your breath, that's great. So let's go ahead and find our Pilates posture. Can you still hear me? I hope so. So you're gonna go ahead and stand with your feet together and then you're gonna pull your toes into a V and your feet into parallel. And then you're gonna tuck your pelvis under so your tailbone's headed to the floor and roll your shoulders up, back and down. I'm just stepping up to see if you can in fact hear me. Can you hear me? I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So the second thing you do once you find your Pilates posture, if you put your guns on your hips, you should be able to shoot off your big toe. And that's how you know that your feet are hip distance apart. So everybody's hips are a different uh, uh, width. So you want to make sure that it's quite narrow. OK, then you want to make sure the tailbone's headed to the floor and roll the shoulders up, back and down. Sit your, sit your little wings right up against your spine. OK. Then we're just going to go ahead and tuck the chin in and think about the back of the neck growing long. So it's like somebody's tied some balloons to the back of your neck and you're just going to stretch right up to the side. So unfortunately, it does tend to look like you have a bit of a double chin when you're doing the Pilates posture, but it's good spinal health. So if I go ahead and turn sideways, what you'll see is my ankle is in line with my hip, is in line with my shoulder, is in line with the top of my ear. And you can go ahead and turn sideways too, so that we get the feeling of this length, right? The second thing I told you about is the pelvic floor. It's the goes from the front naughty bits to the rear naughty bits, and it pulls up and in when you stop a pee pee or walk into a pool of cold water. So I want you not, a lot of people engage the pelvic floor by squeezing their bum. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is just close the front elevator doors like we're gently stopping a pee-pee. Then we're going to pull it up and in and the belly button comes into the spine. I'll walk you through it. Ready? Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Close the pelvic floor at the front level one. Pull it up and in. Belly button comes to the spine level two. Level three, the ribs knit together. Everything's nice and tight. And then release. So I want you to go ahead and do that at least three times throughout the day. You can do a set of pelvic floor engagements. Try and keep your bum nice and soft and try not to hold your breath. So let's try it again. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Close the pelvic floor level one. Pull it up and in level two. Level three, ribs knit together. Everything's tight in here like I'm going to punch you. That's how Houdini died. And keep breathing and release. Great. So the third part, we're going to put it all together, is the lateral breathing. And I'll go ahead and take my little coat off now so you can see. If we put the hands on the sides of our ribs, my fingertips are just a couple inches apart. We're going to try and pull the shoulders away from the ears, pin them down the back. And we're going to breathe in and expand like in a core of bellows. Breathe in and expand into the back of the ribs, but your shoulders don't shrug up. And then we're going to push the air out. Pull the pelvic floor up and push the ribs together to expel the air through the mouth. So breathe in deep and wide and inhale. Breathe out through the mouth and everything engages as you push the air out. Do it again. Breathe in and breathe out. So watch your shoulders if you can. Watch them in a mirror video camera and don't let them rise up as you breathe in. And out. Fingertips float up to the ceiling and then they fall out to the side. Can you feel that pinch between your shoulder blades? Try and hold that pinch there like you're holding a rose between your shoulder blades, but let your hands relax. 
Now, as we stand here, try to button the ribs together at the front, but equally close the um, angel wings together at the back. And that is going to give you a nice posture, a nice brace in your abs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn sideways. We're going to move straight to our functional squats, okay? So hopefully you can see me here. You can stay straight on if you like. We're going to breathe in to prepare. As we breathe out, we're going to pretend like somebody has grabbed our belly button on a fish hook, and we're going to sit back in a chair. Your back is nice and flat. The neck is in a nice natural extension of your spine. Do you see how flat I am? You don't have to come as far down if you've got bad knees. Breathe into your ribs, push through the heels, and use the belly button to rise up to standing. So now you can incorporate some weight or you can touchy band and add a little resistance as we include the arms. So make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Pelvis tucked under, belly button to spine, roll your shoulders up, back and down, tuck the chin in, breathe deep and wide into the back of the ribs, squeeze up and hollow and sit back in a chair as our arms raise up by our ears. See how nice and flat I am? Wiggle your toes, weight in the heels, inhale, exhale, stand up, rise up onto your toes if you can, the arms come behind you and inhale. Exhale, sit back. Lead from that belly button. Pull that pelvic floor up, shoulders away from the ears. Just breathe into the back of the ribs because the abdomen stays tight. Stand up. Onto your toes if you can. Shoulders away from the ears, abdomen still tight. Inhale. Sit back. Inhale. Stand up. Last one, inhale, sit back, hold it here. If you've got bad knees, don't come far, but if your knees are good, you're aiming for thighs parallel to the floor as we pull through the heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, inhale, stand up. You can keep flat footed or rise to your toes, but the arms come behind you. See my arms? Tiny pulses of the fist to the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold. Everything's tight. Shoulders down the back. Squeeze the elbows together and lift the fist to the ceiling. Shoulders pull away from the ears, pull your wings together and fly them to the ceiling. Abdomen's tight, inhale, exhale, extend and straighten the arms and release. Good, yay. So now we're gonna just do some dumb waders. Standing, you can use some weights, these are my squishy weights. You can use a band, um, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're going to go ahead and just warm up your scapula and your rotator cuffs and get some nice movement in the shoulders. This is great if you have shoulder injuries. So let's go ahead and find our Pilates posture. Start with your feet together, pull them into a V and pull them into parallel. Knees nice and soft, pelvis tucked under, roll the shoulders up back and down. We're going to go ahead and hold our hands in front of us like a waitress holding our trays, right? We're going to inhale to prepare. Elbows glue into the waist as we exhale. Combine everything we learned at the beginning. Pelvic floor up, belly button to spine, close the ribs as the fists come together. Inhale, keep it all in one plane as we rotate out. Feel the squeeze between the shoulder blades. Exhale, we're going to come to a T shape as we push the shoulders away from the ears. So they're slightly in front of a T-shape. If you wiggle your fingers, you can see them in your peripheral vision. Inhale, glue the elbows back in to your waitress position. Exhale, pull everything up and in. We call that zip and hollow as we close the ribs. Inhale, rotate out. Exhale to T. Inhale back. Exhale, close. You can actually see my ribs working. Inhale, rotate out. 
See, feel the pinch between the shoulder blades. Now watch the shoulders move down. Shh, away from your ear. Inhale, pin the elbows in. Now watch my ribs. Shh, working hard there. Everything's working hard on that movement. Okay, back out to your T. We're gonna hold the T here, and I want you to spread your scapula and your hands just flow a couple inches forward, then bring them back to neutral. Now squeeze your little shoulder blades together, but don't shrug your shoulders and back to neutral. So I'll turn sideways so you can see it's a small movement leading from the scapula. We inhale to prepare and exhale, spread the wings and the hands float forward. Come back to neutral. Exhale, squeeze. Try not to let the ribs pop out and back to neutral. Again, and neutral. Squeeze, shoulders stay down, ribs stay tight. Last time, spread them forward, back to neutral. Squeeze, and back to neutral. So again, you don't need to have any weights or any band, but you can if you like. Now we're gonna just lift the rib cage up and place it to the side. Knees stay soft, pelvis tucked under, lift that rib cage up and place it to the side. If you've got a dodgy back and this doesn't feel good, just don't come as far. Lift it up and to the side. If it's not challenging enough, grab some cans or some water bottles or some weights. Lift it up, belly's nice and flat, place it to the side. As you do it, lift up and think about pressing that opposite heel right down towards the floor. Up and to the side. Last time, lift it up, place it down and do tiny pulses all in one plane. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and hold, pick it up and place it to the other side. Far heel pushes into the ground, belly but tail when tucked under, pulses are in one plane. Back and forth, not up and down. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your abs tight and push the heel down and five, four, three, two and hold, come back up release the arms shake it off so we're just going to do a little neck stretch here so if you do have weights you just want to release one we're going to inhale to prepare bring your ooh, left ear to your left shoulder and the opposite hand really pull it down and towards the floor and then you can rest your fingers on the top of your head if you like we're not pulling as you inhale and exhale, think about the head stretching up to the corner of the room, off your spine and creating space there. Now we inhale, exhale, turn your eye gaze towards your armpit. The fingertips are on the back of your head now. Inhale, and as you exhale, the back of your head goes to the corner of the room and the opposite hand pulls towards the floor. Last time, inhale. Exhale, release, and float up. That feels great if we've been spending hours on Zoom or working at our computers. Other side, so transfer the weight or the water bottle if you have it to the other hand, but you don't need a weight. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, inhale. Take the right ear towards the right shoulder, and think of that shoulder dragging to the floor. Rest the fingertips on the top of the head as you inhale. Think of it stretching up to the corner of the room, just creating space there. Inhale, exhale towards your armpit. The fingertips move to the back of the head. Inhale, as you exhale, the fingers draw to the floor and the back of the neck draws up to the corner of the ceiling. It floats up and off your neck last time. Inhale and exhale creating that nice space. Release. Lovely. So we're going to go ahead and do our roll downs now. I'm not sure how many people we have. I think I've only got two customers today. The good, I will put this on my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and do it uh, again and make sure that you really get the technique down. So this is how we roll down to our four point kneeling. 
we're literally just gonna roll down. I'll talk you through it, but what I want you to think about is trying to open up each vertebrae one by one by one. Okay, I'll talk you through it. I hope you can hear me. So find your Pilates posture. Be under hips, tuck the tailbone under, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Breathe to prepare. Exhale, drop that chin to the chest. Shoulders roll up and away from the wall. And you can walk the fingers down as each vertebrae opens. The head starts to pull towards the floor and the belly button towards the ceiling. And hold it at the bottom where you feel comfortable. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes and no. Breathe in to prepare. Exhale, walk your fingers up. Tuck your pelvis under and restack each vertebrae one by one by one. So even if you can't hear me, you can hopefully see me. So let's do it again. This time at the bottom, you can grab hold of opposite elbows if you like to deepen that stretch. Inhale, exhale, shoulder roll up and over as each vertebrae mobilizes. Belly button pulls to the ceiling and the crown of the head pulls towards the floor. Like you're deflating, grab hold of opposite elbows and shake your head yes and no. Yes and no. Breathe in to prepare. And as we exhale, you can walk your fingers up your thighs. Tuck your pelvis under. Each vertebrae respects. You can move slower than me, but not faster. When you reach the top, the shoulder blades move down the back, and the back of the head grows long. We don't come in an extension. We don't look up. Think about balloons on the back of your head loading you to the sky. Okay, on this last one, we'll walk ourselves out to four-point kneeling. All right, and then I'll move the camera. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Shoulders roll up and away from the imaginary wall as the head melts forward. The belly button pulls to the ceiling. And at the bottom, and no. Yes, and no. Now bend your knees, put your hands on the mat, and we walk out to four point kneeling. So I'm going to move the camera in a minute, but have a look at your four point kneeling position. Your knees are under your hips, hands under your shoulders, belly button tight, hold the shoulders away from the ears, and that's your four point kneeling. So let's see if I can get you a little bit closer. And not lose our connection. <laughs> Lovely. So, hopefully you can see me, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. You probably are used to working like this. If you've got bad wrists, you can roll up your mat. If you've got bad knees, you can put a towel underneath. But either way, we're just going to do a simple exercise today. Peek through and make sure your knees are about six inches apart. And then we're just going to pull the belly button to the spine and extend one leg behind us. Okay, inhale to prepare. Now, there's a margarita on your tailbone. You mustn't spill it. As we exhale and lift, it comes just to hip height, no higher. Okay, so both hands are on the floor, leg is flexed and extended. We're going to tap it to the outside of our mat. And then we inhale, draw a rainbow across to tap the other side of the mat. So, our hips stay stable. You don't want to spill that margarita as we tap outside. Inhale to draw a rainbow and shh, exhale, tap. Inhale, exhale, tap. Shh, inhale, exhale, tap. Shh, belly tight. Tap. Shh, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Couple more. Shh. Shh. 
hold it here, bend it to 90 degrees, flex the foot and extend it to the ceiling. Have a peek through. You shouldn't see your knee because it's hip height. So don't drop it down. We're not dropping it. Tiny pulses from the heel to the sky. Keep the 90 degree angle at your knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is your belly tight? Shoulders away from the ears. 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it here. Tilt it inside of your body and lift it an inch higher. So we just want to inhale to prepare and exhale, tilt and lift. So it's a slightly different angle to your glute. Last time, inhale, tilt the heel in and lift the gluteal and release. Lovely. So just one more leg to go. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, slide the other leg back. Don't let your stance narrow, so peek through. Now, keep the margarita still as you brace your abs, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift, just to hip height. Are your hips facing the floor? Tap it to the outside of the mat. Inhale, draw a rainbow up and shh, tap to the other side, you see? Inhale, draw up and tap outside the mat. Shh. Inhale, draw a rainbow to tap the other side. Keep your hips as still as humanly possible by lifting the pelvic floor shh, and belly button pinned to the spine. Shh. Ribs knitted together. Shh. Shoulders away from the ears. Shh. Everything we practiced at the beginning because all you get out of Pilates is all you put in. It's up to your brain to switch the muscles on to stabilize. A few more. Last time, up and over, up and over. Now extend it behind us, bend the knee to 90 degrees. Peek through, make sure it's not drooping. Flex the foot, keep the 90 degree angle, don't let it Drop out like that, okay? Keep it straight to the ceiling as we pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up here, belly button of the spine, shoulders away from the ears, everything's tight. Turn the heel to the inside of the body and squeeze the glute. If you can, tilt it a little bit more and squeeze it higher. Last time, inhale, twist, and oh, child's pose. Oh, we're heating up now. <laughs> we're heating up now. Okay, so we're gonna do our, our C-shaped spine. You can use, again, your band, you can wrap it around. Uh, your feet if you've got a band, um, but I think I'm going to use a couple weights because I'm starting to progress things. Any weights will do, water bottles, cans, but it'd be creative. So sit nice and tall on our sit bones. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. If you've got a bad back, you can roll up the mat and tuck it under your tailbone. Feet are hip distance apart, shoulders down the back. You're going to pull the abs into your belly and roll the pelvis under to create a shoulders. If we leave with the shoulders, my abs will pooch out. We want, again, somebody pulls our belly button through our spine on a fish hook, and that initiates the movement. So let's go ahead and try. Level one, hands hold onto your knees the whole time. Level two, hands in front of you. Level three, fingertips to the forehead. You pick your poison. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull that JJ up, pull that pelvic floor up, squeeze the belly button of the spine, roll the pelvis under and the belly button leads as we roll back. Stop where your sit bones are stable, your hips won't move, inhale into your armpits, pull your front arm back and twist from the hips. Shh, sorry, twist from the ribs rather. Hips are stable, inhale, return. Exhale, twist the ribs like you're squeezing the air out. Inhale, return. So you wanna create a flat zipped hollow abs like you're wearing really tight jeans and then you squeeze the ribs like you're shh, wringing a washcloth. Inhale, do it again. Exhale. Inhale, last time, twist to me. Shh. Inhale, twist away. Inhale, 
increase the C-shape and bring the forehead over the knees. So belly button still to the spine and we scoop through, shoulders reset to sit tall. Very good. So if that was too hard, hold on under here or don't do three. Too easy, get your hands up here. In fact, um, once you've done it, once you've done my uh, C-shapes fine a few times, just try and progress it up. Roll the shoulders down the back last time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pull the pelvic floor up and C-shape the spine before you roll back. Are your hips firmly planted? Inhale, twist from the ribs, not the shoulder and squeeze the air out. Inhale, twist. Inhale, twist. Inhale, twist. Inhale, twist. Last time. Inhale, and twist. Inhale to return. Exhale, forehead over the knees, increase the C shape, and scoop through to sit tall. Lovely. So let's go ahead and lie down for a Pilates ab prep. Feet hip distance apart, about six inches from your bum. Hands next to your sides. Roll the pelvis around till you find a place where your tailbone sits nice around. And think of your hip bones and your pubic bones in a flat triangle. I know we have bellies in the middle, but the pubic bone is in the same plane as your hip bones. If you um, put your hands down there, they should feel. And we want to maintain that. So you can wiggle your hands underneath and you feel that neutral spine. Let's leave our hands there and just try and engage our pelvic floor a couple times, okay? So inhale by breathing into the ribs. The ribs move towards the mat. Exhale, pull the pelvic floor up. Belly button to the spine, ribs knit together. Everything's tight, but don't press into your fingers. Release. Try it again. Inhale. Feel the ribs move towards the mat as you breathe deep and wide and low into the back of your ribs. Exhale, squeeze and stop a pee, pee Pull the belly button up to your spine, ribs knit together, but don't press into your fingers. So that is working in the neutral spine, but we're shortening the rectus abdominis, we're tightening the transversus abdominis, and we're just gonna slide our ribs towards our hips, but we wanna keep the lower back where it is. We don't wanna jam it into the ground. So. Try with no hands behind your head first, but if it, you can lightly just place a couple fingers on the outside behind your ear and behind your head, but never pull on your neck. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, slide the chin to the chest and then roll the shoulders up as the ribs move towards the hips. Keep that pelvis flat. Inhale into your armpits and roll down slowly slowly vertebrae by vertebrae so when you get to the top your arms are wide and think about a frying pan being pressed on your abs as you exhale the air out your abs flatten down to the earth inhale exhale tuck the chin in roll the ribs the hips inhale into your at the top and slowly roll back down we're going to do a couple small releases at the top inhale to prepare exhale everything comes from the pelvic floor from your vajayj if you're if you're a lady so inhale exhale pull the pelvic floor up first tuck the chin to the chest and roll the ribs towards the hips so you can cradle the neck head if you like but we're going to inhale release an inch exhale shh, back up inhale a little exhale shh. It's from the ribs and it's in one plane. Release and shh. release. Shh. Last time, release. Shh. Hold it here, inhale and slowly lower vertebrae by vertebrae. Lovely. So now we're just gonna do the legs. Inhale to prepare. Sorry, put your fingertips on hips, thumbs on ribs. This is your golden square. We're just gonna float 
a knee to 90 degrees, but I want your golden square to be stuck in concrete. Inhale to prepare. Squeeze if and hollow and shh, nothing moves as you float one knee to 90 degrees. See how my knee is over my hip? You should be able to touch the knee and it sits down in the hip socket. Inhale and slowly resist it as it lowers down. Keep the 90 degree bend. Don't let your leg go floppy. Other side, inhale to prepare. Everything goes tight first. Shh, golden square doesn't move as you float the other one up to 90 degrees. You can go ahead and put your hand on there. Make sure it sits in the hip socket. Inhale and lower down. Do it again. Inhale to prepare. Squeeze up and hollow and the abs are doing all the work here. Inhale and slowly lower down. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale at the top and slowly lower back down. So those are your knee floats. And if you watch some of my other ones, you can see how we build on that move. We uh, teach the imprint of the lower back so we can get both legs up. And then we do some hip rolls where we rock them side to side, but it's always super controlled. But for now, we're gonna keep today's session rather short and we're just gonna move right onto our stomachs. Um, and I think we will do searching for coral, um, but you can use weights if you've done this a lot of times. So the legs are at the outside of the mat. And to warm up our back, we'll do a couple baby cobras first. So your legs are hip are at the edges of the mat, but your pubic bone is tucked under. So it's headed towards the floor. Your hip bones are headed to the floor, but your belly button's headed to the ceiling. A baby cobra looks like this. You only come up a couple inches like this. Did you see it? It's tiny. It's not like a yoga cobra. So we want to tuck the chin in, keep the back of the neck long, and we're going to use the shoulder blades to pull us up. Leave the hands on the floor to start. Okay, I'll talk you through it. Forehead on the mat, belly button to sky. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Nose comes an inch along the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades down. Squeeze the belly button. Come to your hover. Tuck the chin in, back of the neck. Inhale. Inhale. Grow an inch taller as you lower down. So you can pull on the ground to lower down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades to come to your hover. Inhale. And grow an inch taller. At the top here, we'll have the option to release the hands. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, squeeze the belly button. Nose comes along the mat. Shoulders pull down to come to your hover. And option to Pull the mat and squeeze the shoulder blades into a W shape. Inhale and lower down. So now we're ready to do our searching for coral. It looks like this. All in one plane, we search one side and the other. Option to tap the thigh. But do not let that elbow dip. It's all in one plane, okay? Left, right. So. Weights, no weights, whatever you want. Forehead to mat, inhale to prepare, exhale. Same movement, come to your hover. Inhale, exhale, search for coral. Option to tap the thigh, inhale, return. Exhale, search. Tap if you like. Do it again. Search for coral. Option to tap, inhale, return. Search for coral. Return. Last time. Search. Option to tap. Inhale. Last time. Return. Hold it here. Shoulders down the back. Neck tucked in. Inhale. And slowly lower and grow an inch taller as you release it down. I'm going to get rid of the weights. for. We're going to do it one last time, but I do want you to see my technique, and I'm worried the weights might get in the way. So watch how I stay. In plane, watch yourself too. Don't look up. 
You're always looking at the mat. Otherwise, you'll miss your coral. Inhale, squeeze up and hollow, and come to your hover. Inhale at the top, into your armpits, and search on one side. Shh. Inhale. Search again. Shh. Inhale. Keep searching. We'll find it. Shh. Inhale. Again. Shh. Inhale. Last time. Shh. Inhale. And other side. Shh. Inhale. Hold it here. Belly button to spine. Pubic bone to ground. Shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the chin in. Increase your hover. Inhale. And release slowly. Grow an inch taller. Child's pose. Lovely. So the last exercise of the class is going to be the sideline series. Um, you've done it before. I'm sure you'll do it again. We'll keep it nice and, and short for today's class. But what you do want to do is stretch out in a nice long line from your fingers to your toes. Pull your top shoulder away from your ear and lift your belly in and feel like it's going up into the air. Your hips are staked one on top of the other. If you need more stability, lower the hand and bend the underneath leg. But if you can, try and work here until you start to wobble. So squeeze the belly button in. Waist feels lifted. We point that toe, it lifts long and away from us. And we use these muscles here in your abdomen to flex the toe back towards us and crush a Coke can into the ground. Point that toe, inhale and lift. And crush. So think toe pulling away from you, not up. And you resist it back. And crush. A few more. Point it away. Flex it. Crush. Two more. Point. Inhale and flex. <laughs> Exhale. Point. Inhale and lift. Flex. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> Squeeze all the air out of you. On this last one, we point the toe long. Our whole leg becomes a pencil. So don't move your knee. The movement comes from the hips. And we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse direction. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Flex the foot forward. Put the hand in front of you for more stability. Press it towards me. Sniff, sniff. Flex it behind you as you exhale. Point it forward. Flex. Point it forward. Flex. Last time. Forward. Flex. Sorry, point rather. Flex it at the back. Tiny pulses of the ankle to the sky. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tuck the pelvis under and just keep going. And 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it here and squeeze. Tuck the pelvis under. Bring the ankle back and up an inch. Hold it here. Tuck the pelvis under. Bring the ankle back and up an inch. If you can, do it one last time. You don't have to, though. Tuck your pelvis under, belly button of the spine, bring the ankle back and up an inch, and then squeeze your outer buttock. Just try and squeeze it, engage it, drop the blood in there, and then release. Bend your knees, shake it off. <sighs> wow, my battery looks like it's about to run out, but the good news is we just have one side left. So go ahead and get on your other side, and I'll try and see if we can salvage the battery. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think we can, so it's just going to go and it's going to go. Let's do this quick. If not, just rewind it. And do it. So, hit that toe, it lifts it away, flex it, and crush it down. Point the toe, it lifts long and away, flex it, and crush. We inhale, it lifts long. We resist with the pelvic floor and we crush as we exhale. Inhale, exhale, almost two moves. Inhale, 
exhale Shh. on this last one point the toe the leg lifts long and it becomes a pencil let's draw our circles 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 other way 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hold it here hand in front of you flex the foot it pulses forward sniff sniff all in one plane behind us flex it forward point two more flex it forward point last one flex it flex the foot behind us tiny pulses of the ankle to the ceiling 10 